Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your man, Corey. Welcome to the Digital Dash, where I'll be giving you guys tips on how to market your songs and get those numbers booming. Now, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm a digital marketer myself. I specialize in helping artists like you guys get their songs heard through platforms like Spotify, Instagram, YouTube, and a bunch of others. Now, what I wanna talk to you guys about today is why you should be building an email list. Now I know I can hear you guys through the camera, but Corey, that's such an antiquated process. I already have hundreds or even thousands or even hundreds of thousands of followers on my social media profiles. Why in the hell would I need to build an email list? And trust me guys, up until recently, I used to think the exact same thing, but I've definitely learned a lot. I've changed my mind and I'm hoping that by the end of this video, I can change you guys' minds as well. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So firstly, let me start off by walking you guys through a hypothetical story let's say that you've been grinding away at building up your Instagram or your Facebook or your Twitter for months and months or even years on end you finally get it up to let's say half a million followers and to celebrate you go out you shoot a video and you post it to your timeline now you go to sleep you wake up in the morning just to find out that somebody's flagged the content is inappropriate and because of this that platform has decided to either delete your profile or suspend it for however long so what do you do in this situation you have no access to your fans you have no way to promote your new song to just came out you have no way to promote your show that's coming up you have no way to let these people know that you have merch dropping tomorrow that you had hope to sell so you could get some money back into your pocket this is the exact reason why you should all start building up an email list mainly because you don't really own these platforms if instagram woke up tomorrow and decided that hey we don't like such and such we don't like such and such on our platform they could rightfully kick you off and there's nothing that you would do all that work would go down the drain and it would pretty much all have been in vain so if you have no other reason to start an email list let it be this what if the platform shuts down what if the platform just decides that it doesn't want you on it anymore? Now, secondly, you'll want to build up an email list because of this. It gives you direct access to your fans to promote or to sell something to them. So think about it this way. I know people who don't have a Twitter account. I know people who don't have an Instagram account. I know people who don't have a Snapchat account, but I've yet to meet someone who doesn't have an email address. Gathering emails pretty much gives you a way to collect data on fans who may not even use whatever your favorite platform is, meaning that you don't have to leave anyone out when you're trying to promote something to somebody. It also, once again, gives you direct access to these people, meaning that your message doesn't have to get stopped through the filter process of whatever platform you normally use. So I'm pretty sure that as soon as this video is over, you guys will want to go out and create your own email list and you pretty much need to do these three things to get started. One, find a website or some type of document that you can use to collect names, email addresses, and any other information that you may deem important for whatever reason. I personally like to use MailChimp. There are other resources out there that I've heard great things about, but I haven't personally looked into them or used them myself. I'll make sure to leave a link to some of those in the description below so that you can check them out for yourselves. Other than that, what you'll need to do next is give people a reason to give you their email address in the first place. People today know how important their email addresses are to companies and businesses and individuals like yourselves, and they pretty much won't give it up without a fight. Now, I personally am a fan of giving things away for free, so whether it be a free download to a song or some merch that you don't mind giving away like a sticker or a button, just something that makes people go, hey, I don't mind giving this person my sensitive information and my email address because they're giving me something for it in return. And thirdly, what you wanna do next is pretty much use it and promote it. Meaning that you need to shout out your email list any chance you get. Have it linked to your website, have it linked on your Instagram account, have it linked on your Twitter account, talk about it at shows, have someone walking around with a clipboard gathering emails. You need to push this any and every chance that you get. You also need to actually use your email list. Now, I wouldn't say spam these guys because you would definitely get sent to the junk folder or even worse, completely blocked from the email address in the first place. But I would recommend using it to update your fans on any tour information, on any new songs or merch that you have dropping, and maybe just to share information with your fan base that only they would get in the first place. So just to give you guys a little recap, you pretty much want to start an email list because of these two reasons. One, you want direct access to your fans that allows you to push whatever message or product to them without the filtration process of whatever platform you normally go through. And secondly, you need to be prepared just in case these social media platforms ever go down. What if Twitter goes out of business? What if Facebook or Instagram decides that, hey, 
I don't want to be a social media platform any day. You need to make sure that if you're left high and dry by these platforms, you still have a way to keep conducting your business, have a way to keep reaching your fans, your customers, and make sure that everything can move along smoothly with or without them. Shameless plug, go and follow my email list. I'll make sure to leave a link to that in the description below as well. Now, as always, guys, if you feel like you learned anything today, please like and share this video. Hit those post notifications as well as I wouldn't want you guys to miss anything. Once again, my name is Corey, and I'll see y'all next time.